The many facets of managing worker tenure can be a complex challenge for any organization, no matter the size, global reach, or service type, and is especially true when compliance is a top priority. Tracking worker tenure in SAP Field Glass means customers can adhere to multiple worker compliance issues, increase operational agility, while avoiding unnecessary costs and penalties. A tenure policy is a set of rules and regulations that establish the length of time that a contingent, SOW, and or profile worker can serve your organization. Tenure policies define the total amount of time an individual can work, how that time is calculated, when and if gaps are required, and locational restrictions that may apply. The worker tenure tracking feature within SAP Field Glass covers more than 190 countries and, if needed, can also automate rate changes specifically for contingent workers. This encompasses tenure discounts or collective bargaining agreements that increase a contingent worker's pay rate over time. It is essential for any organization to conduct a needs analysis and scoping of requirements for worker tenure as a first step. Once this is complete, you can begin configuring your SAP Field Glass tenant to set up adequate worker tenure tracking that meets the unique requirements of your business. Tenure policy management in SAP Field Glass uses custom lookups to provide the structure and definitions for the variables needed by the system to act on worker data. You will need two custom lookups to use this feature. Tenure policy, of which only one can exist per organization and will contain all individual tenure policies. And tenure warning and notifications. From a transactional perspective, having these two custom lookups in place means that worker data is compared to the policies and the corresponding actions prescribed by the tenure policies are then triggered. Custom lookups can be created and maintained either manually or via an upload. Working net. A company focused on the design and manufacturing of data networking equipment has recently undertaken a compliance assessment and wants to take steps to ensure worker tenure tracking is more robust globally. Having completed the necessary scoping and defined what parameters need to be captured as a business, it's Anya's responsibility as the administrator for WorkingNet to proceed in configuring the SAP Field Glass tenant to include the tenure policies and relevant notifications. Anya navigates via the admin menu to the company structure section and selects company details. She needs to confirm that the two required company configurations have been enabled by SAP Field Glass before she can configure the tenure details for working at. She verifies that tenure policy management and consolidated worker configurations are enabled for the tenant. Anya navigates back to the admin menu and selects custom lookup from the configuration section. She can see that there is no existing tenure policy in place, so she selects new. She enters the name Global Tenure Policy in the relevant field and selects the lookup type as Tenure Policy. Anya selects the number of segments as eight to indicate the number of attributes required for this lookup in the form of headers. She then selects the delimiter as a semicolon that will be required to separate values when using custom lookup and pick list value uploads. Anya then moves on to define the header details. The header type data will either be a key segment or a value segment. The number column defines the order in which the segment will display on the custom lookup. Anya needs to first define two keys for the global tenure policy. She enters the first as effective date from the type dropdown. The second will be country region code. This is a worker location including country region or SAP field glass site. Anya then moves on to define the first value segment which in this case will be policy rule and is a required value in this type of custom lookup. There are five rules available. Track tenure with no compliance. No warnings will display and is used for other purposes. Manage tenure with return date. For policies where a worker can only be engaged for a specific period of time, after which point they must take a break in service for more than a defined number of days before being engaged on a new assignment. Manage tenure with no return date used when a worker can only be engaged for a specific period of time, after which point they must be either offboarded or hired as a permanent employee. Mandate gap in assignments. Used when a worker must have a gap greater than a defined number of days between assignments, no matter the previous assignment's length. Manage periods based on end dates. Used to track the tenure for workers and determine if they've reached an employment duration threshold during the defined period. Anya continues to populate the remaining value segments for the global tenure policy. Next, 
Anya needs to populate the custom lookup policy values for each applicable country region. She'll do this using a pick list upload. Anya selects the upload file and locates the data file she wants to load. She then selects upload. The tenure policies for Canada, UK, Mexico, and USA will now display on the custom lookup details page. Each policy rule follows the management of tenure with return date, although the duration and required gap between assignments is different per country. WorkingNet has decided that the duration type will be based on assignment days for all tenure policies included here, but if needed, can also be calculated based on time worked, in which case, the system looks at the worker's timesheets. Now, Anya needs to configure the warnings and notifications that should be linked to the global tenure policy she just created. She returns to the custom lookup list and selects New. Anya enters the name, number of segments, and delimiter. She defines two keys, policy name and language, and three values, which define the method and timeline of when the alert notifications will display. Anya selects Add. She now proceeds to upload the data for this custom lookup. She locates the file and selects Upload to complete the process. The relevant alert thresholds are now set up as on-page notifications on the work order 30 days before the applicable policy is violated. While SAP Fieldglass calculates and notifies buyers and suppliers at the page level and via email with relevant messaging enabled when a given worker is nearing and or violating tenure, this cannot ultimately be enforced by the application. It is fundamentally up to the buyer and supplier to use the information accordingly by deciding not to rehire a job seeker or taking appropriate action to offboard a worker. When a buyer creates or edits a tenure policy, it does not automatically apply to existing assignments. Therefore, a work order revision is required to apply any changes. It is strongly recommended that buyers perform tenure configurations in a test environment before making any changes in production. Consult the SAP Fieldglass Tenure Policy Management Guide on the SAP Help portal, help.sap.com, for guidance and considerations when defining worker tracking requirements, along with high-level configuration steps. And that's how SAP Fieldglass helps organizations comply with regional and local labor regulations, meeting government mandates whilst being able to scale globally with confidence using automated out-of-the-box localization features.